everyone, hope you had a great weekend. Because of the storms last week, we moved our golf tournament to this Wednesday. We're looking forward to a great time on the green and thank you to everyone who supported this great cause. This Thursday is a very special recognition for everyone at the Manny Home. Director Davis did a personal video thanking them for their service. Our board members will also attend and some representatives from the Hamilton County Board of Developmental Disabilities. Last week was our anniversary breakfast and we had a great time. If you're celebrating your anniversary in August, be on the lookout in your email for a special invitation. We're always looking for great training for our employees and this month we're highlighting some quick bar refresher training. Check it out in the links below. We were recently notified that Medical Mutual sent out insurance cards with incorrect plan information. They'll be sending out new cards shortly. If you have any questions, reach out to somebody in HR. Last week was National Disability Voter Registration Week. There's a video from Director Davis, and it's not too late to help the individuals that you serve sign up and be registered to vote. We wanna make sure that their voices are heard. One of the highlights of the year is DSP Appreciation Week. This year on September 10th is the OADSP recognition event. To register or nominate someone for this event, check out your email or reach out to somebody in HR. Our employee assistance program sends out a monthly newsletter highlighting a lot of different topics. They have a lot of great resources and it's completely anonymous if you reach out to them. It's free and confidential. For more information, check out the links below. Electronic visit verification is going live today and it's mandated that we begin sending information August 5th. You'll see new information in time tracking. If you haven't taken the training, make sure you do so. And if you have any questions, reach out to your supervisor, your director, or someone in HR. The Department of Developmental Disabilities is seeking input from DSPs about your role. It's just a couple quick questions and the survey is in the description below. This year's Walk for Independence is held on September 14th and we're calling it the Chocolate Walk Run Ride. To register, to make sure you get your shirt, the medal, and to participate in the fun, check out the links below. We're really proud of Josh Stethen, who is our new day program supervisor in Dayton. Josh started out as a DSP, and recently we sat down with him to ask a couple questions. Check it out. I'm Joshua Statham. I was a automotive mechanic for about 10 to 15 years prior to coming here. I found out about the place through friends. I got the phone call, went in for the tours, and I, I loved it. It was something I wanted to do full, full time. What made me change was I just loved the atmosphere. I, I loved working with our individuals. They made me feel like family, and I do count them as my family. They always put a smile on my face. Every time I could come into work, I'd be happy. No matter if I was coming in angry or upset or something was on my mind, they all made it, made my day better. I would say, I would compare it to the Grinch. When the Grinch had a small heart, and once he found that love, his heart grew bigger and bigger and bigger. That's, that's the love I felt from our individuals that made my day, walking in there, all smiling, all running up to you, giving you hugs, asking you how your weekend was or how your day went, or glad that you're back. All throughout the day, you're, you're just feeling loved, and that's such an amazing feeling. It's the absolute best. Not only are you making a difference in their lives, they're also making a difference in yours as well. What made me go for it is to enrich other individuals' lives, helping them out, uh, making the program better. I hope to bring to the table that they get the m most out of life of what they want and then some. I want them to feel they did something. They knew they're capable of will always be excited to come back. There's there's definitely growth inside the company. No matter if you're going to school, learning to be a nurse or a doctor, we also have that within our programs. You already have the skills working with our individuals. You're not going to get them skills anywhere else. You may say the money's not there. I don't look at it as, as a job. I look at it as what can I do for my family? What can I provide for my family? Like I said earlier, you're not only enriching their lives, but they're enriching your lives as well. Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. And we're so excited to have you in this role too, I know. Congratulations, Josh, on the promotion. We're excited to see the impact that you're gonna to continue to make on the individuals that we serve. This week's quote is, change is inevitable, but growth is a choice. Make it a great week.